Today we're going to be replacing the ABS sensors on my Honda Accord. These wheel speed sensors are responsible for sensing wheel speed when braking. I broke mine when I was changing my ball joints, so I'm going to show you how to change the one on the right side of my vehicle. And you can see here I've got an ABS warning light on the dashboard. So this here is the cruise control module, and we're looking down from the top of the strut mount. This orange connector is the ABS sensor connector. And just to give you a perspective, this is what it looks like from the inside of the wheel well. It connects to this white connector here. I'm going to squish this tab and release the connector. So this here is where the ABS wire goes into the body of the car. It comes out to this bracket and then it goes down the steering knuckle. Now if you follow this line all the way down to the steering knuckle, it goes to this 10 millimeter bolt that holds the sensor into the steering knuckle. Now once the sensor is disconnected from under the hood, I can come in here with a flat screwdriver and push these tabs to pull out this white bracket and then the entire sensor from the body of the car. And that gives me access to the plug. I can remove this 10 millimeter bolt that holds the ABS line to the steering knuckle. Now normally there'd be a 10 millimeter bolt that holds this bracket to the upper control arm. But during that replacement, mine broke, so I'm just going to remove the zip tie. So I'm going to measure the resistance of the ABS sensor to test it out. I've got two staples stuck in there to help me get the contact points tested. And as you can see, it's measuring open circuit. So that means this ABS sensor or the wiring is defective. Here I've got the new sensor connected to my multimeter and I'm getting about 430 kilo ohms. So I know this is a good sensor. Now these ABS sensors tend to get really stuck in the steering knuckle due to rust. So to remove what's remaining of the sensor, I need to remove that 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to give it a little soak with some penetrating oil because it can get pretty rusty. Then I'll give it a little tap with a punch to encourage it and release the 10 millimeter bolt. Luckily it didn't strip and break. All right, now this is the most difficult part of this job removing the ABS sensor from the knuckle. It's very, very likely that this is going to be rusted in here and it's just going to snap off when I try to pry it. But here it goes, I have no other choice. Well, I got that part of it off. And I've got the wire coming off here. Just going to pull that out. Now I've pretty much got the sensor broken off flush with the steering knuckle. So I'm going to need to remove the steering knuckle from the vehicle and drill this hole out. In order to drill out the ABS sensor, we need to remove the steering knuckle. First we're going to remove the upper ball joint. And we'll first remove the whatever's left of the cotter pin. Then we're going to remove the 17mm castle nut from the upper ball joint. And these two 10mm bolts that hold the brake hose to the steering knuckle. And then the two 17mm bolts that hold the brake caliper to the steering knuckle. Then I can remove the brake caliper from the rotor. Next we can remove the lower ball joint. The castle nut has a cotter pin that you pull out. And then remove the 18 millimeter castle nut. Next we can remove the rotor screws and then pull off the rotor. Next we're gonna remove the axle nut. First we're gonna use a little punch here. And straighten out the axle nut where it's pinched against the spline in the axle. Then I'm gonna come in with an inch and a quarter socket. Next I'm gonna remove the 17 millimeter tie rod nut. You're going to need a ball joint separator to separate the taper of the tie rod and the ball joints from the steering knuckle. I'm just going to put the separator in. And my tie rod just popped out. <laughs> I got scared and popped out. I wonder if I use a hammer if this works. There we go. So I've got my ball joint separator on there. Ooh. Okay, after everything's been disengaged from the steering knuckle, we're going to pull out the CV shaft and remove the knuckle from the vehicle. So here I've got the steering knuckle removed from the car. I'm just going to go in with the screwdriver and remove this retaining ring. And this here is the old ABS sensor that we need to drill out. Alright, so I'm going to first try tapping it out with a hammer. Alright, so I've destroyed as much of the sensor as I could by tapping it out. Next I'm going to use a drill and drill through the hole. My bit broke. Alright, time for a longer bit. Almost got it clean out there. So this surface here is where the ABS sensor reads on. You want to make sure it's very clean. So I'm just going to clean it up with some brake cleaner. So you can see here I've drilled out everything from the hole on this side. And on this side here. And it's ready for the new sensor to go in. This here is the new ABS sensor. It's from Dorman. So I'm just going to test fit my new ABS sensor. To make sure the hole I drilled is good. And it fits good. So I'm just going to leave this off for the time being so I don't damage it while reinstalling the knuckle. Next I'm going to reinstall the retaining ring. We're just going to tack that down lightly. Next we're going to replace the steering knuckle onto the vehicle. So we're just going to attach the lower ball joint and then put in the CV shaft. And then here at the top I'm going to line up the steering knuckle. Next we're going to tighten up the upper ball joint castle nut. And once that's nice and tight we're going to line up the hole for the cotter pin. And then we're going to reinstall the cotter pin. And then at the bottom here I'm going to catch the castle nut for the lower ball joint. And then tighten this one down. And then we're going to replace the cotter pin and bend that down. Then we're going to replace the outer tie rod into the steering knuckle and its 17mm nut. 
Done. Next we're going to replace the axle nut. Next I'm going to replace the brake rotor. And the two brake rotor screws. Next we're going to replace the brake caliper back onto the brake rotor. And then we're going to replace the 17 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper to the steering knuckle. Next I'm going to replace my brake hose to the steering knuckle. And we'll just snug those down. Alright, so just to make sure this doesn't happen again, I'm going to coat the sensor with some anti-seize compound so it doesn't rust. Alright, so now that my steering knuckle is on, I'm going to replace the ABS sensor with the brand new one. So I'm going to insert that. This might take a little bit of wiggling because it is new. Alright, I've got my ABS sensor in there nice and snug. Next, I'm going to replace the 10 millimeter bolt that holds it to the steering knuckle. And using an extension, I'm just going to tighten that down. Next, I'm going to run my new ABS sensor wire over to the top of the steering knuckle and replace this 10 millimeter bolt. Once this bracket is attached to the upper control arm, we can then feed the head of the wire through the wheel well and into the body of the car. And then we'll just click this white bushing in. Now because I broke this bolt, I'm just going to run a zip tie around this upper control arm to hold the ABS line in. I'm just going to reinstall that new sensor, make sure it clicks. Finally, we're going to replace the wheel. Now when I turn the car on, you can see that the ABS light goes out. Finally, I'm going to take the vehicle for a test drive and make sure the ABS engages properly over a slippery surface.